County will be called Lidstrom Sporting Park when it opens in June. Lidstrom is the foundation started by cyclist Lance Armstrong, who is in KCK today to announce the deal. A portion of all stadium revenue will go to Lidstrom's efforts to help people affected by cancer. The goal will raise eight to ten million dollars by the time the agreement ends in 2016. Much of that money will be reinvested locally, says Rob Heimer, Sporting KC CEO. The deal also continues the area's long corporate support for cancer research, says Cliff Hill, the Cerner founder and a team owner. Armstrong calls the partnership an amazing opportunity for the community to get involved in something special. With AC Ubar News, this is Russell Brett, the Kansas City Business Journal. The two hundred eight million dollars for the banquet comes to the unplanned most part in all of the city of science applications international. Marketplace is supported by Putnam Investments, celebrating over 70 years of service to financial advisors, their clients, and institutions worldwide. Putnam Investments, a world of investment. Produced in association with the University of Southern California. Bank of America tries to get better. Oil industry tries to get better. The least gang of economics tries to prove their knots. From American public, this is Marketplace. Marketplace is supported by Yellow Board 360, offering a spectrum of marketing tools for small businesses designed to go beyond yellow. More at yellowbook360.com. And by Sam. CSX, working to reduce traffic and pollution while moving 1 million tons of freight daily. CSX, up tomorrow moves. From the Frank Stanton Studios in Los Angeles, I'm Kyle Rizdahl. It's the 8th of March, then it's what's Tuesday, and that is all we're going to have for this week. Beleaguered Bank of America did something that today hasn't done in four long years. It hosted an investor conference, a chance for shareholders, a chat up manager. What the hell is going on? We're going to lose the boss $3.5 billion. Now. PMA is in the middle of a makeover after a long time. The bank stands purchases of countrywide in Maryland, which should not to mention the whole financial business. The country's biggest bank has lots of work to do. But really, we're going to lose the investors. We're mostly positive. Bank of America said today that the biggest thing its customers want is to restore their damaged sense of financial well being. Could say that the bank wants the same thing for itself. Jeff Hart, an analyst with Sam O'Neill, said Bank of America pleasantly surprised investors by not leading a huge financial disaster. The biggest positive is probably both the president and the big negative. So he said there's a storm. I think expectations are very low. Bank of America's big struggle has been to contain the lawsuits and losses from bad money managers that have inherited in the country. CEO Brian Morningham said part of the bank's strategy. Is to cut costs elsewhere. Maybe you're asking about expenses. And they're not expensive, right? There's no question. We're still getting large costs to deal with the mortgage issue. That's going to take time and people to resolve. But what if you have the bank will turn in earnings at $40 billion before taxes this year? Bank America will cut staff and close up to 10% of its branches. The bank has already sold off investments to focus on its main businesses. In the process, it raised $22 billion. But it won't be using that money for a buying spree. One of the jokes will declare that the bank will get a peace dividend by not buying that company. It's like countrywide or Merrill Lynch. Here's why. They're in a position where they've got the businesses they need or want. It's a matter of becoming more efficient. Bank of America expects its cleanup to last several years. The question now is whether it will lose ground as it makes cuts, while big rivals like JP Morgan and Wells Fargo are talking about their plans to add their advantages. In New York, I'm looking more for money. Here's your semi regular update on the ever expanding Facebook. There was news this morning that Warner Brothers was going to be the first studio to stream its film from the beginning of 
Thank <laughs> you. 